Okay, look, we need to talk about something. So a couple weeks ago, I published a short just quickly explaining how to use a wag bag. And oh my goodness, I don't know what it is about pooping in a bag, but people have got some really strong opinions about this. But look, wag bags are really important in some areas. And for those of you that don't know, a wag bag is simply a bag that you poop into and then you carry that poop out until you can dispose of it properly. In a large majority of areas, wag bags are not needed. You can simply dig a cat hole and dispose of your waste that way. But in some very specific sensitive areas, digging a cat hole is not only against the law, but in some cases, straight up bad for the environment. And it was those words that really seemed to set people off. They just couldn't understand how wrapping your poop in plastic is better than just leaving it in the wild. And look, I understand, that seems ridiculous on the surface. Obviously, plastic isn't that great for the environment and poop is just fertilizer. I get it, but the reactions weren't, I don't understand this. Can you help me understand how this is better? And hey, if that's where you're at, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what this channel is all about, helping people learn to enjoy the outdoors. But no, the reactions weren't like that. The reactions were, this mama's boy has lost his mind. If animals can do it, well, so can I or just plain refusing to even consider this. Look, I get bad comments from time to time, and for the most part, I just ignore them and go on. But for some reason, these comments bother me. So since there seems to be some confusion as to why wag bags are necessary, let's talk about it. First of all, if you spend any amount of time traveling to go backpacking, eventually you're gonna run into a place where local laws and regulations require the use of wag bags. And it isn't just some hippy-dippy, politically motivated, pointless rule. There's good reason why you might need to poop in a bag instead of digging a cat hole. Mount Whitney, for instance, the highest mountain in the continental United States and one of the most popular hikes in the world, large portions of that hike are on solid granite. Where are you gonna dig a cat hole on solid granite? How is it gonna decompose? What are you going to do with all the toilet paper? Mount Whitney can see hundreds of people per day in the summertime. That is a whole lot of poop with no place to bury it. You get a really good rain and all that poop is just going to wash into the lakes and rivers and streams that you're going to want to drink out of while you're there. Can I come poop in your drinking water? I mean, it's, it's just fertilizer. I'll just come poop in it and you can drink it. And see, that's the main problem. In the Southwest that is experiencing unprecedented drought and water is becoming more and more precious, wag bags are typically required because and hikes like Coyote Gulch that I was able to hike earlier this year. For most of that hike, you are hiking directly in the riverbed. Conventional practice requires that you get 200 feet away from water sources before digging a cat hole. But in Coyote Gulch or Buckskin Gulch or any other number of hikes in the Southwest, you can't get that far away from water sources. You're in a narrow canyon with the river. And even dry riverbeds quickly become streams when it rains. Not to mention that the desert lacks the bacteria and the enzymes needed to decompose waste, which means that it's going to stay there underneath the sand until it rains. And these streams don't just stay in these areas. They flow down to waters and lakes and reservoirs that provide drinking water for hundreds of thousands of people. But animals do it, so I'm going to too. Yes, animals poop wherever they want, but animals don't congregate in one specific area just because it's beautiful. They don't leave toilet paper when they go. Most animals only eat grass, and the ones that don't aren't eating hormone-injected meat. So yes, animals do it. And if the number of people visiting those areas were as few and as spread out as the animals that live there, go ahead and dig a cat hole. In those areas, areas that are not that popular, there are no regulations about what you can do with your poop. But in popular areas where there's a high potential for a human waste minefield, yes, it's better for you to carry it out in a plastic bag. But how would the authorities even know that you weren't using a wag bag? Look, George Costanza was right. You know, we're living in a society. When you show up to a campsite and there's trash all over the place, how does that make you feel? Or when you're hiking along and there's toilet paper just on the side of the trail, that's not an enjoyable experience. We, the hiking community, are a community. We love and cherish these places because we want to go and visit them, and we don't want them full of trash and somebody else's poop. So let's treat other hikers, other people just like us who enjoy the same things that we enjoy, let's treat them the way that we would want to be treated. This is the golden rule for crying out loud. I feel like I'm talking to my kids here. This is your community. Be a functioning member of your community. So in 99% of the places, go ahead, dig a cat hole. That's what they want you to do. But in the few places where authorities have made regulations against it, they did so for good reason. If you wanna see the video of me showing how to use a wag bag, you can watch that right here. Sorry that I got a little riled up in this video. I really am glad that you're here and that you're watching, liking, and subscribing. I couldn't do this without you. Until next time, thanks for watching. 
Big shout out to Huck from Huck Outdoors for lending me some video from his Mount Whitney hike.